and welcome back. Today we have a really fun uh, gadget. This is the Nostalgia Retro Pop-Up Hot Dog Toaster. Uh, this was a uh, actually a Christmas gift, early Christmas gift I got. Thank you, you know who you are. Uh, that I'm looking forward to trying out and giving you a good review, see how well it works. It looks pretty awesome. It says uh, it toasts hot dogs and buns at the same time. Perfect, perfectly delicious hot dogs every time. And it fits thicker hot dogs that plump. Also toasts pre-cooked chicken dogs, turkey dogs, veggie dogs, sausages, and brats. Um, it says here it includes mini tongs and hot dog cage to easily remove the hot dogs, adjustable cooking timer and stop cooking functions, toasts two regular size or extra plump hot dogs and two buns at a time. And then it has French on the back and the other side. So obviously I haven't opened this, so let's unbox it. We're gonna, I'm gonna actually unbox this, check it out, and then we're gonna cook some hot dogs and uh, I'll let you know how well they cook and uh, if they're hot and the whole thing, because this is also gonna double, not only as a video, it's gonna double as dinner. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, very cool. Thank you, yes, thank you. Okay, so let's pull this baby out and see what we've got here. Okay, well, here are the little mini tongs, looks like. Little mini tongs to grab the hot dogs, but putting metal inside a toaster, not too sure about that, but we're gonna try it. We'll see. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted. Let's take this baby out of here. Okay, oops. Okay. We're gonna get rid of the box over here on the side. And then we'll get rid of all this plastic. Ooh, it's red. Very, very cool. Okay, and it says, read, this before use. This unit has a heating element and during the first use it may appear to smoke for a short period of time. This will stop and does not indicate a defect or hazard. Remove this label prior to use. And the remove label looks like it's going to peel off pretty simple. There we go. We got it. Let's uh, open up this cord and then uh, check it out. Let's see what we got here. Get all this plastic and the stuff off of here. Okay. So overall, it's pretty cool looking. I like it. Um, oh, wait a minute. Let's got some cardboard. How are you supposed to get this cardboard out of here? It's got cardboard stuck in the uh, part where you pop it down. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get it out because now it's, well, I guess like that, you have to push it down a little bit. Okay. Oh, is this the basket? Okay, so here's the basket for the hot dogs, which you can remove. How do you know if it's in all the way? Oh, there's a little V. Okay. Well, we're gonna see. All right, so, okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, the cord is not super long. It looks like maybe I don't know, two, three feet, two feet, three feet. Uh, there's a place on the bottom where you can wrap the cord around here for storage. I don't see any kind of a, oh yes I do. A little uh, crumb drawer like in a toaster right here at the bottom, so that's kind of nice. Very cool. Okay, so I am going to uh, bring the camera in and show you some of this closer up. Okay, so it's got this uh, cool, uh, it says retro series, and it does look retro, badge on it. Uh, this is the top, so this is where you'll put your buns, and then here's where the hot dogs go. And it goes like that, and then it just kind of pushes down, telling you this is gonna be hot on top, obviously. Little handle on this side and the nostalgia logo. Nothing here, and then back here are the controls. So it has a standard toaster, top thing and it has a stop button and then a cook level looks like one to five um, and that's it looks pretty simple to use okay so I'm gonna open I got uh, Nathan's hot dogs here so I'm gonna pop the bag package open and we're gonna put in two hot dogs see how they fit okay so they go in like that we're gonna get a couple of buns 
We're going to toast this baby up and see how it works. It's going to be pretty, pretty cool, I think. We'll see. I'm going to show you from, from the top how it's going to look once I get these in. So you open the buns. Now I have side cut buns. I don't know if it's going to, you know, if this would even work with the um, top cut. I think they're called. Okay. So let's get the camera here so I can show you. So I've got it set at four. We're going to try it at four. And I've got the buns in. They go in these little semicircular opens. And when I push it down, okay, you're gonna, it looks like you got to help the buns. Okay. And then let's see. I do feel heat. So it's starting to cook. Okay. And we're going to see how long this takes. I'm going to leave the camera propped up here. So you'll be able to see when it pops up how, how it works. Okay, it just popped up. That was only like a minute or so. That's pretty fast. And they feel very hot. We're going to give it a try. Let's see if I can get the buns out without tearing anything. So they are toasted, more on the edges. It's still kind of so. Oh, no, it's a little toasty here. The back's, I mean, it's, you know, it uh, seems good. Let's check the other bun. Okay, it's toasted. I mean, not great, but okay. We'll use the tongs and take out the hot dogs. We're going to see what these are like. Let's see. I mean, they're not super hot to the touch. Um, they were cool, but not cold. So that was on four. We're going to try eating them and see how they are on four. We're going to see. They're not really blazing hot. So let me go get in position into uh, at the table and we'll check. Okay. Them out. So obviously I got to have a little mustard on my hot dog. Wow. The liquid, not good. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna give this a try and um, see if it's warm inside or. Uh, it's actually, let's go to the middle. I mean, it's not very hot. I probably should have did it all the way on five and it might have been hotter on the inside, but on four, I mean, they're warm. The thing is the bun was burning on the edge. So I'm not sure if I went to five, how much longer it would actually go. It only went about a minute or so. I mean, they're good. They're not blazing hot. They're definitely, I mean, hot dogs are pre-cooked, but there's no way the internal temperature is 100 and whatever it's supposed to be. But I mean, like I said, hot dogs are pre-cooked. So, yeah, I think five might be better. Let's try and, and uh, cook another one at five. We'll do that right now. Okay, we've got it loaded up again, and now we've got it set all the way to five, maximum temperature. Let's see how long this takes and if they're actually hotter. We're going to help the buns down like we did before. Make sure they're all the way. Like in a hot dog. Oh, there we go. So that was what, three minutes, just about three minutes. So let's see. Again, buns are toasted about the same, which is nice. I'm happy with that. We got nice toasted buns. The edges seem to toast more. Uh, let's see what we've got for the hot dogs. Oh, yeah. So they've now blistered up. You can see they're definitely hotter. Um, these are going to be great. So five. Yeah, okay, I so like the idea. Now that they're setting yeah, on let's, five, let's go uh, set them up and we'll test them out. Yeah, they're good. Um, I would say five is the way to go. They're not like super hot temperature that you you can't put it in your mouth or you know, if you like it like, if you like it blazing hot, then this might not be what you would like. But <clears throat> if you have kids, this is great because on five, which is the max setting, they're hot, meaning they're cooked and they're hot inside. But they're not hot enough to burn yourself. No chance of a problem like that. Very, very nice. Very good product. I give it two thumbs up. Great dinner tonight. Um, yeah, I definitely like it. Good gift. 
Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Sorry. <laughs> First video I've done where I've eaten something. Let me just swallow. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. It really does help. Um, like, share, comment. I answer all comments. Let me know what you think. Do you have one of these? Is there a trick you use to get the hot dogs just the way you want? I like it. I think it's a really good product. I would definitely recommend it. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can uh, purchase one if you'd like. So yeah, thanks a lot. This was really fun for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.